What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World, and today we're going to be playing the number three, the number three ranked player in the world, mutt head to head. Uh, we tote thirties. He is a streamer. Uh, I ran into him a couple times um, throughout this year. I think uh, he has beaten me twice, and the full games are available either here or on Twitch. Um, but in this game right here, you know, the thing that I try to explain to you guys is that it doesn't really matter when 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 somebody is really good in from Madden sixteen to Madden where we are right now, it doesn't really matter how good somebody is. Even if you look at like who the top player in the world is like Skimbo, um, they're beatable. And and it's not like, you know, the whole cliche, everybody's beatable because some people aren't beatable. Like Floyd, Floyd, Money, Money Mayweather. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like the dude is undefeated. But with this game, there is no certainty with what's going to happen game to game. And, you know, this guy runs cover for a drop show too. It doesn't really matter that he's running that and that's a lockup D or anything like that. It works. So I know that, you know, at G Myers World, we hate guys that run it. I actually started running it for like two weeks. No, not two weeks. What am I saying? Like two days. And I was like, you know what? This is way too bummy for me. I'm not running it anymore. But it works. It's lock up. It's a dumb for, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a dumb play that people, they'll just run it the whole game on the goal line, whatever like that. But here at G Myers World, we don't, we don't want to complain about that. We want to find ways to beat people that run it and continue to advance with it. Like I told you guys, um, I was going to put out a video on how to really just destroy cover four, but there is really no way to consistently do it because everybody runs it differently. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they'll come out and uh, they they'll blitz the guy off the edge and that one extra blitzer is going to just scream out of a cover four drop show too. It doesn't make sense, but it is what it is, but you'll always see the cover four drop too. You see what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Like right now he's running it and I'm just running a basic inside zone play that I found that eats it up. But look at him on the goal line. He's, he's still doing it. He's running cover four drop, and I'm trying to run a stretch play. And you see how he's bl everybody's blitzing and coming straight in? I don't know if he's run committing because the run committing doesn't really work, but that's not what it's about. It's about the fact that most of the top players that you're going to play are going to run this defense online. When you go and you start playing real competitive players, they're going to run, you know, 3-4 uh, under. They're going to run the Predator. They're going to have the edges uh, coming in with blitzes. They're going to be running, like, more um, sophisticated stuff. They're going to run the nickel odd out of the Patriots playbook. But it doesn't really matter what they're doing. It matters what you do. And you have to figure out exactly what works. Like, right here, uh, I was offside somehow, and I don't know why. And, um... You know, he's he, this right here, that was a big penalty because he's going to run the ball right here and get some yards, get a first down and stuff like that. And it kind of changed the mood of the game because if I got that sack, it the, the game would have went a little bit more uh, different. But it's going to be a defensive type of game. And right there, I know you're probably looking like, how is my safety playing these things with the post route? It's very, very, like, it's a very interesting thing. Zone coverage is what matters. And I have that Sean Taylor. So Sean Taylor right there. See, that's, did he just throw it to Tlaib's body? Who is it? Is that Tlaib? I don't know what just happened right there, but that was his read, and he threw it right there, and I thought Talib would pick it. But again, like I told you guys before, even though I really like Talib, I understand that I'm playing Madden 18, and things like that are going to happen. Even though he's a really good corner, he's not going to be good every play, and we have to understand that. Like, you see Terrence Newman? He tried to juke him, but Terrence Newman just stood there like, yo, what's good? It doesn't really matter about zone coverage when it comes to getting juked. You're going to get juked, but sometimes they'll make plays. Sometimes they won't. Right here, that was a good play, because Talib. He, regardless of the zone that you put him in, if it's in anything other than a hard flat, he's going to run around with who he thinks is trying to make the play. So he's not going to stay there for a drag route. And he had his tight end on the drag route. So, you know, obviously that developed afterwards. Right here, he just hits me with a QB draw and he doesn't care about anything. And um, neither does my defense because they should have made him fumble. But that's neither here nor there. Um, but as you can see, he primarily wanted to come out and run the stretch play. But we have the defense for the stretch play. But in certain games, it just won't work. You see what I'm saying? Like, you guys have seen me come out in games that get blown out by bums. And you're like, yo, what is going on? That's what's going on. The game is not consistent to where something is going to always work. So you have to adjust in game. And that's what I try to stress to the, you, know, you guys and girls that watch my videos. Um, you, I'm gonna, you're going to see what I do, whether you're watching me on Twitch or on YouTube when I'm live streaming. And if you try to mimic it completely, it's not going to work exactly. Because I'm making adjustments to my blitz angles. I'm doing different things every play. Because if you keep it the same, they won't do anything. They'll just, what is this? What, what is this guy doing? Oh, okay, he didn't want to pick it? All right, that, that right there, that right there was crazy. I don't know what was going on. You know, he trying to come in and just take care of my business right quick. And it's kind of weird because we're like in the both, we're in, a, in the same uniforms like uh, away and home. So it's like, I thought I was him. I don't know if he thought he was me at one point, but it was crazy because I couldn't tell who I was. Um, like right there, I thought I was the one running the ball. It, it was kind of weird, but 
Um, just going back to the fact that he's just trying to do whatever he wants. And cut, bro, what is Cunningham doing? And a, a lot of you guys tell me, yo, bro, pick up Cunningham. This guy Cunningham sucks, bro. That's what, I got to just stay with Big Ben. And I know you guys laugh at me because me and Big Ben are always arguing, bro. And I've been trying to just stab him in his kneecaps on a regular basis. But I got I got to do that because Big Ben, he's a bum. But he's doing exactly the same thing as these other high-priced corner, uh, quarterbacks are doing. So why would I waste my time trying to do that if I could just keep him and he could be a bum and, you know, I'll just deal with him being a bum? It doesn't make any sense. Right there, that was a good dot. I knew he was going to run the in route. But I didn't want to give up the bigger play, so I stayed with the other, uh, you know, the other drag. You know, well, the higher up and out uh, crossing play, the little crossing thing that was going on right there. He hit me again with that, and then he's going to truck me with Derrick Henry. I didn't even know that trucking still worked. I'm being honest about that. I had no idea that it still worked. But until, until he trucked me and woke me up on, on that play right there, like, you know, he trucked me, and I was like, oh, oh, okay, I'm back. I realized what was going on because um, it just didn't make any sense to me. And also, what I want you to notice is when he's running that stretch play, because – Terrence Newman has high zone coverage. I change his zone to another zone, and it kind of attacks the run a little bit better, and you can see on every play what he does. Okay, go ahead. Throw it right there in the coverage. All right, there we go. Talib. You see how Talib just jumps out of nowhere and just picks that? It does, again, as long as he's not in a hard flat, you could put him in any other zone. He's going to run up and down like a maniac on the field. He's crazy, and he is slow. I know he's at 85 speed unless you tear him up. And you want to lose your money and, um, you know, lose your coins. And you make him like a tier 9 or a tier whatever. And then he gets like plus 1 speed. Right there, he probably should have fumbled. But look, he didn't. And I don't care that he didn't fumble, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's what's supposed to happen. Keep in mind, though, he's running cover 4 drop. And no matter what happens, that same guy. And I, that's why I kept running the same play. Because I wanted to see if it kept happening. He's running cover 4 drop. And it didn't matter what was going on. He was still coming in regardless. My old line would not react to that guy. And... That's why that defense is so heavily run. And we can't, again, don't complain about it. Obviously, when we're in the stream, you call him a bum, whatever like that. We call everybody bums. You know what I'm saying? When I'm playing everybody, I could be playing my mom. I'm going to call her a bum and I'm playing Madden. Madden brings out the rage. But what I'm saying is don't take it past that. You keep it there. After that, whatever, win or loss, GGs, no need for no, you know, hate mail afterwards and writing crazy stuff. Bruh, you, you, didn't, you didn't win. You didn't come out and you weren't able to stop it. And then we got to get better. And then we got to figure out ways to just make it so that people stop running the D. Because back in Madden 16, D Jones, he was he was blitzing nobody and sacking me. He was manning up his D linemen. You know, it was, it was so dumb. But that's what the game has kind of transitioned to. Um, a lot of three-man defenses that lock up everything. And we have to figure out ways to stop it. And again, I can put a video out showing you you know, the different run plays, you know, running a draw play, running the flood concept, running a lot of these concepts, but you got to make the read. You know what I'm saying? You got to make that read because they will adjust cover four drop. They will adjust it. And then once it's adjusted, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are you going to do? That's why I'm not really a fan of a lot of eBooks because a lot of you guys buy the eBook and then it's like, oh, but this didn't work. You see what I'm saying? So it's just like, yo, yeah, it's not going to work for every case. Cover four drop is a nightmare on Elm Street without Freddy Cougar. I'm not going to sit up here and lie to you. It's one of the most annoying defenses in the game. But every year, it's like Dollar from last year. Dollar was locking up every run, and it didn't make sense to anybody. But that's what it was. So we had to adjust to Dollar. Now, Dollar is not as good, regardless of what you guys think. It's a very, very easy defense to, to, to run offense again and run, uh, you know, run plays and pass. They've really, like, toned it down a lot. Um... In fact, in their most recent patch, they kind of adjusted it again. So dollar is not the wave. Dollar, you can run power all on all day long, and the dudes will just you'll just run right past them. But but this is the defense for now, the cover for a drop, and that's what he uses. And we have to just be better. But yeah, look, man, the dude had to earn his way to be the number three player in the world. Obviously, you guys know how I feel about guys that run cover for a drop. Um, but again, we gotta make it so that these dudes don't want to run it no more. We gotta make it so that they can't be successful against us with it. And in this game, it was just all completely defensive. His defense was just cover four drop. I was running a mixture of cover threes and cover twos, but that's what it's all about. It's a chess match. And um, you just got to figure out, is EA on your side this day or, or are they not? And he's going to throw me the ball right there. He don't care. He don't care, bro. He don't know I got users, no. And it is what it is. So at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, it's just a GG. We can rage, go wild during the game. He's a bum. He runs cover four. But at the end, GGs, we move on. And that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed the content. Yeah, we came out on top in this game, but you never know what's going to happen game to game in Madden. I appreciate all my new subs, all the new followers on Twitter. 
at G Myers World. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.